What is up, the internet? This is lesson number two for malware analysis. Just really, really basic stuff. So in the last video, we've seen how when we get on the internet, there's threats everywhere. Um, there was a link on my Facebook, and I seen a link to download this thing. I went ahead, I saved it, I uploaded it to VirusTotal, and we've seen a whole bunch of uh, viruses and malware and all kind of nasty stuff in it. Um, I went ahead and installed it anyways, and again, this is a virtual machine. Don't do it on your normal computer. Um, create a virtual machine if you want, and you can do it there. I'd highly not recommend installing it on your normal computer. All right, with that out the way, it put this icon there, and it has one running in the background here. I noticed it was kind of lagging down, especially when I use Internet Explorer. Well, now it's running fine, but I don't know. It must have been doing something because it was running like crap before. Now it's making a liar out of me. Anyways, I went ahead and I downloaded these two things. Uh, and that's what this video is going to be about. Some tools that you can use. Disregard this other stuff. Actually, let me move this stuff out here so nobody gets confused. That other stuff is for a later tutorial. Um, this here is uh, from Malwarebytes. Really good stuff. I recommend it. And this here is Hitman Pro. This is from Surfrite, uh, another really good antivirus, anti-malware software. The thing about anti-malware and antivirus software is it's software. Um, it can get infected. Um, if you have a virus on your machine, you download, you know, whatever one you like. I recommend these two. You might have your own favorites. It's fine. But, um, yeah, you run your antivirus and you suspect you have a virus and it says you don't, you probably do. The thing is, think about it. If you're going to write a virus, what's the first thing you want to infect? You want to infect the antivirus and say, hey, okay, if this runs, you know, tell a person, hey, I'm not here. <laughs> I mean, it's just common sense stuff, right? Um, also, you're probably wondering, well, I have antivirus already, so how the heck am I getting this stuff on my computer? Again, think about it. Think about if you were going to write a virus. Um, yeah, okay, you have antivirus, and, you know, your neighbor has antivirus, and your company has antivirus. Everybody has all this antivirus. Now you learned out about that webpage, VirusTotal, scans it with like 50-some different antivirus engines. So you're writing your virus, right? Well, guess what? You have access to the same antivirus as everybody else. So what do you do? You upload your program to this stuff. You scan it with these antiviruses to make sure yours doesn't get caught, right? So if it does, if the, if the antivirus catches it, what do you do? You change the code a little bit, and then you release it out once it no longer finds it. It takes these companies, you know, weeks, sometimes months before they can actually detect the virus and come up with a, a definition for it. So in that time, you've probably been infected and your antivirus has already been infected. So it just keeps running in the background. So again, if you suspect you have antivirus and you don't have either Malwarebytes or Hitman Pro, download it and run it. Because if you have a fresh copy of something, it hasn't had time to get infected. So let's give it a shot. I had this, I installed this thing. Let's see if it actually catches it. So I'm going to install this. Yes. Next. I accept. Next. Now, here's another option that I really like the Hitman Pro for. No, I only want to perform a one time scan to check this computer. That is good because it won't keep it on the computer itself so it doesn't have any time to actually get infected. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scan this and we'll see what's gonna happen. Uh, depending upon the speed of your computer and how much stuff you have actually installed, it might vary in the time. I'll pause the video to make you not suffer through this entire thing. So, see you when this is done. Okay, so it took 2 minutes, 19 seconds, and there it is. It ended up, it found the FLV player, the downloader, 
and the setup cl.exe it discovered it as malware now it gives us a couple different options we can delete it or we can quarantine it i always like to delete things especially when i know it's not like a system file uh, quarantine is for something that you're not sure it might be something that you need it might be an actual windows file a dll file or something that you might need that got infected that's when you quarantine something if you're not sure you can quarantine hey it's good it just gives you the option to put it back if it actually doesn't work on a computer or if something bad happens so oddly enough we'll click next before it does anything it wants a product key product key to register it and activate it or you can activate the free license which will give it to you for 30 days so cool beans i means i get to keep it on yay i love my malware <laughs> um so i'm just going to close it out if i were you i'd click activate the free license and then just get rid of this junk but take a look here at the directory it's an app data local temp and then some crazy name here this one's straight it found the actual installation <laughs> as being kind of bad riskware um, so we know that hitman pro hey cool beans man it it works it does what it says it's going to do it identified the things that we don't want on here go away so the next one here after this thing closes well while it's doing its thing we can do the malware bytes and like I said these are just two tool two tools that I like to use you can use whatever you like it's just personal preference next 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 now malware bytes, uh, you're going to want to download the latest definition. It says enable free trial, which I do not want to do. Launch malware bytes. I really don't want to do that either. Finish. So there you go. Now you know how to install malware bytes. We'll go ahead and we'll run it. They say, yeah. And the first thing it's going to do is going to want to check for updates. It's probably going to find updates because these guys, you know, they, they update it pretty frequently they're, they're, they're pretty good at keeping this stuff up to date um, okay cool so we know it's up to date we can scan we're just gonna do a custom scan for right now because I already know well we already know where the viruses are the viruses are under I don't want it to scan the whole machine because it'll take forever We'll do app data and we'll do desktop and we'll start our scan uh, this found something looks like in the registry yep oh no right on the desktop it found our desktop okay so the scan is complete and it found 33 different things um, it found the downloader which is on the desktop and it found everything associated with it in the app data remember hitman pro also found the stuff in the app data but it only did the one to set up cl.exe as actual malware well this found everything associated with that everything that was in that and in the registry the installation to it too as well as that one so what this wants to do is it actually wants to quarantine everything um, to get rid of it uh, so we can go ahead apply actions and it's gonna get rid of it so cool beans go back to main menu and every single time it gets done it wants to restart it because what it'll do is and uh, hitman pro will do the same thing too it'll restart your computer and it'll make sure there isn't anything in like the boot records or anything or anything that loads up before Windows starts it can get rid of it so there you go um, there's kind of like a super beginners course on how to remove malware using 
Malwarebytes, and or Hitman Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, hey, feel free to post it.